when you look in the, that same vision of the dragon, if that's just a dragon, it's a lamb. There's a lamb and a dragon. Now, most people, if they saw a lamb and a dragon, they would bet on the, on the dragon, you know, but the lamb wins. Mm -hmm. You see, the evil always comes as a dragon, comes mm -hmm. fierce, overwhelming the culture. And good comes as the lamb. It doesn't look like it's gonna win, but the, Lord, the lamb is Messiah, the lamb is Jesus. He's always going to win, and that's that's not hype. That's real. And the thing is that you know, you know, when you talk, think about a dragon, it's reptilian. Re reptiles are cold-blooded. They they don't they don't have endurance. They can't last. Evil cannot last. In the end, it cannot win. It cannot. The good will always last in the end. And if we're following with all our heart, listen, we are in a fight. You got to be in a you got you know Israel's fight. We got to be we're in a spiritual fight, but we got to fight. We have to fight for our for America. Mm -hmm. We have to fight for our family. You know, being a fight means you're not letting the enemy do what he wants. Saying, no, I'm saying no, I am fighting this by the power of the Lord. And the thing is that it says that in, in Revelation, that's the same vision of the dragon, it's what it says, but they overcame him the, the dra by the blood of the lamb mm. and the word of their testimony and loving not their lives to death, they overcame him. And that word overcome is this Greek word, really cool word, nakao, which is means, you know, they totally prevail, but it's, it's written of the future, but it's past tense, so it means it's as good as done. You, but you have to fight. If you fight, you will win.